So next I'm going to show you how um, you can prepare fiber with hand cards. And there are several ways you can prepare fiber for yourself with hand cards. Uh, the first way I'm going to show you today is how to make a carded roving from one hand card or using one hand card. So this is a hand card. This is a 72 point, which means it has 72 teeth per um, square, square inch. Um, it is for uh, medium to fine fibers. Another set I have is 56 point. It is for um, fibers that are a little bit thicker. This is called a lock pop. It's made by Clem and Clems, and it removes the trash from the butt and the tip end of your fiber or your staple. And you could also use a dog comb to comb it out of the butt and the tip end to comb the trash out, or you could use a flicker. I find with the um, lock pop though, there's a little less waste. That's why I like to use it. And the other reason I like to use it is it's very quick. So everybody does things a little bit differently. I'm just sharing how I work with um, the lock pop. I use the right side to pull out the trash from the butt end and I use the left side to pull it out from the tip end. And that'll become clear why in a few minutes. So you don't wanna pop it over there and pull it all the way through. You just want the trash out of the tip, out of the end of that butt, and you can work your way deeper and deeper in. Okay, but start at the tip and work your way deeper and in, deeper into the teeth. So this has been pulled off, and now I'm just going to keep the fiber straight and bed that into my hand card. I'm going to take another lock, get the trash out, trash out of the butt, trash out of the tip and lock it onto the hand card. So it's starting to pop up, pop up off the teeth now, so it's time for me to stop. And I can carry on and I could prepare another strip here, there, and there. So I can probably get four strips across. And now I'm going to use um, a Diz to pull it from the hand card. So with both the wool combing demo earlier and this demo, I'm using the dizzes with a cone shape to them. I find that the um, roving, when you're pulling off the end here, is a little bit um, nicer, stays a little bit um, together better. It's a little more cohesive with that cone shape. But when I'm working flat on a blending board or flat on the carding cloth, I like the other shape because the fiber pulls up into that dish a little bit nicer. It's a little bit different action and the equipment behaves a little bit differently. Okay, so again, just like combing, I'm pulling a little bit through the diz and I'm just pulling it through. So unlike the wool combs, I'm working lower than the surface. I'm not working up high or I'm going to pull all that fiber up off the cards. So I'm working low and I'm also forcing and I can feel it. I'm making the fiber go through the teeth, so it's putting the fiber in alignment, nice alignment, um, as I diz. And there will come a point where I can't get any more off this fringe area, and I'll have to move my position. But until that point, I can keep going, so now I have to move up. But I'm only dealing with a little bit at a time here. Okay, and I don't want this. So I'm going to leave it in the carter. So there's a really nice fiber prep from the hand cards and a diz. The difference between this fiber prep and the combed prep is this fiber will have um, shorter lengths of uh, fiber in there because I didn't remove those. And um, it will, it's a little bit fluffier. So it doesn't uh, lay flat quite the same. So your spinning has a little bit more loft to it when you, you spin from this type of fiber prep. Even if you spin it with a forward worsted draft, and if you spun the wool combed fiber with a forward worsted draft, the wool comb fiber would be a little bit um, more compact, and this would have a little bit more loft or bulk to it. And that's how you diz from a uh, hand card. And I'm gonna show you a couple other ways. I'll get set up, and then we'll show you how to use hand cards in other ways.